Today, Kevin and I have a lot of Werther's original uh, and items, items <laughs> to try for you. These were bought at Carmel Kusha. Uh, that is a shop located in Epcot at the Park Epcot at Walt Disney World. In the German Pavilion. In the German Pavilion, yeah. Uh, so this um, set of four, it's called a flight. It's Werther's Liqueur Caramel Flight. And it has pearl liqueur, bourbon, amaretto, and Irish cream. Don't know which is which. Okay. And then we have a Werther's dark chocolate car caramel. <laughs> You're messing up my order. Yeah, we have a Werther's dark chocolate caramel square with sea salt. We have a Werther's original caramel square. We have a Werther's Original Caramel Square with Milk Chocolate. We think it's that one. Yes. And then a Werther's Original Caramel Square with Milk Chocolate and Sea Salt. Yeah, they got salt sprinkled on top. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the first one we're going to try is just the plain one. The Werther's Original Caramel Square. And that's exactly what it is. These were $4.29 each. Of course, you're paying park prices. And... Yeah. And you're buying Warthers. Which and you're buying Warthers. Not cheap anyway. And uh, how big of each one? Like that? Sure. It looks terrific. It looks like a um, a square you buy at like Brock's or something, but just bigger. Mm. Same texture too. Mm-hmm. Their caramel has such a distinct flavor. Mm -hmm. Yeah, imagine a Warther's making a, the squares of caramel is really big. That's what that is. It the is um, at the store. You can buy the Warther's, um, they're, I think they're called Chewy. Mm -hmm. Those are softer, but I do have to say, we bought these a couple of days ago. We have had them covered and all that. Oh. So, I mean, we've kept them as fresh as possible. That might be a little denser just because it has been a couple of Maybe. days. Or it's just um, like that. Or it may just be like that because they do make the little chewy Werther's at the store. That would remind you of that. Yeah, that. It, it's very good. Except it's the traditional Werther's original flavor. There's no other flavoring in it. Um, Disney also sells popcorn with that melted and stirred into it. That, that would be excellent. We didn't we, buy any fresh popcorn. We should have gotten you some. I know you, I think no, you I really didn't. wanted no, I some. Didn't. We're going to pay $7 for a little bit back. <laughs> <laughs> but if it was fresh. Yeah. Okay, now we have the Werther's Dark Chocolate Caramel Square. This you one. Want to the dark? Yeah. Werther's Dark Chocolate Caramel Square with Sea Salt. It is Werther's Original Caramel Square enrobed in dark chocolate confectioner's coating and sea salt yeah it's it's basically the same it's thing it's the same thing but i'm wondering if you're going to be able to taste that coating i'm making sure i have some salt too i love the addition of mm -hmm. the coating do you remember what are they called reason uh-huh that kind of reminds me of that a little bit. Of a reason. They're like a really tough, thick caramel in the middle with chocolate on the outside. Aren't those made in Germany too? Might be, might be made by them, Ron. Mm-hmm. I don't know if they're made by Werther's, but I think they're, I think they're a German brand. That's and really that good. is exactly what they're running. Yeah, but I think the reasons have a little bit thicker topping on the coating uh -huh. on that side, and they don't have the re the Werther's caramel. It's a different right. flavor, but it reminds me of that. That's yes. It's very good. You can definitely tell the difference between that and the original. Yes, I chocolate. I agree. But I like that additional coating because mm -hmm. it just it when you're chewing it, it just adds a little bit more um, uh, texture to yeah. it, the whole it, thing. It may sound gross, but the chocolate mixing in with the caramel thins the caramel out. So, so yes, it's a it little does. easier to eat. Yes, I agree. Now we have the Werther's original caramel square with milk chocolate. This is the drizzle one, right? Yes. Werther's Original Caramel Square enrobed in milk chocolate confectioner's coating. What did you think salt was? I did not get salty flavor. I didn't either. I know I didn't get and salt. And I made sure I gave you a piece that looked like it had salt crystals on it. I didn't see it, but I didn't feel it either. <laughs> yeah, so it says salt, but... It 
It's very chewy. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is normally something you could chew on for a while. Yeah, I would let something like this sit on my tongue mm -hmm. and get soft. Almost turn into a puddle. <laughs> yes. Yeah, see there's salt on top. I'm going to try to make sure I give you a piece. I actually felt like I got a little salt in there. I know it didn't have salt on the top. Well, it might have mixed in. <laughs> it might have mixed in, that's true. I actually like the milk more than the dark. I do too. It's just uh, it's just smoother. That's the only difference. It's 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 just a smoother flavor. Um, this last one is Werther's Original Caramel Square with Milk Chocolate and Sea Salt. So it's the exact same thing, but it has sea salt. Okay, you definitely gave me salt. Mm -hmm. I got a little mocky stew. Mm -hmm. I got it that down. You have to really get the piece though that has mm -hmm. a lot on it. Mm -hmm. Mine had a little bit, but I'm not getting the flavor because there wasn't enough of it. Mm -hmm. they, they could up the salt game on those a little bit. Well, they put it like in one little spot yeah. and didn't put it over the whole thing. Exactly. So one person, one little bite's going to have a good amount of salt. The rest, the rest of, it's, of it's not. Yeah. But that's delicious. Mm -hmm. that's, my, oh, yeah. that's my favorite one out of all four. Yeah. The one Even the, just looking forward to that little bit of salt would make it my favorite too. Yeah, so the Werther's Original Caramel Square with Milk Chocolate and Sea Salt, out of these four items, mm -hmm. that would be that'd my be, favorite thing. Be one I get yeah. One. Now the flight, we uh, this one, which one <laughs> well, one of them has a brown dot, one of them has a white dot. One of them's covered in chocolate. Um, yeah, I have no idea. Let's okay, let's it. just try this one. This one's just plain. And as you know, we're experts at alcohol so we'll be able to immediately identify that of alcohol. course yes of course because <laughs> we drink so much that's a joke that is a joke boy is that a little enough piece kevin well i don't want to give you too much hmm. i like the flavor though mm -hmm. it's supposed to be pear liqueur mm. bourbon I think that's probably bourbon. Amaretto. Or amaretto. It might be amaretto. Or Irish cream. Definitely not Irish cream. That could be amaretto. I think Or bourbon. A, my guess would be amaretto. Yeah. It's one of those um, two. It's very nice. It's not, um, you definitely taste it. Oh yeah, if you don't like alcohol in your candy, you, you don't want You won't want to buy this. Yeah, because on the, it's funny because on, <coughs> Kevin has an app on the phone that gives, um, like, it'll tell you on the app that these are the flavors, but it's not called, on the app, this is called a Werther's Caramel Flight. When you actually go in Werther's Original, the sign says Werther's Liqueur Caramel Flight right. to make it really clear what you're buying. Um, so if you don't like alcohol, you won't want to buy these, but I think this is awesome that they have this available. Mm -hmm. You know what's funny though, is you, you can order, you can do mobile order, Mobile ordering wouldn't have said alcohol, liqueur. Uh-uh. It would have been on the app and it would have just said caramel flight. Right. And you would have really been disappointed if you didn't like alcohol. So we think, that I think definitely amaretto for that first one. It's hard to say though. So this one could be pear. I don't know what the old dot is. It's literally. I think it signifies what the flavor it is. Well, pear. I'll give you a bigger piece. Bourbon or Irish cream. I'm going to guess Irish cream. It was kind of sweet. Them too. Yes. I actually like that one better than the amaretto one. Ooh, not me. I like the amaretto Really? One. Yeah. I love that Irish cream. I love that sweet. It's very sweet. I'm, I'm assuming that's it. Now, it could be, did you say pear? Like in pear? Like a, yeah, but I didn't taste pear. Like a fruit pear? Yeah. But this one might be that pear. Yeah. I'm wondering if the bourbon's not going to be in chocolate to make thought, it like a bourbon bomb. I thought that too. Yeah. And we'll know if it's bourbon because bourbon's strong. So this should be pear. No, but it's Irish cream. Tastes like Irish cream to me. I don't know. I didn't taste any pear in that last one. I haven't either. But I don't taste any pear in this one. No, but that that does taste like more of an Irish cream than 
I'm getting that cream kind of flavor. And it is sweeter. Yeah. It does have a, uh, there is a creaminess to mm -hmm. it that the other one didn't have. No. Well, I tell you what, I, I think sure the one with the white dot is the cream. The, the, really the one with the white dot should be Irish cream. The one with the brown dot should be pear. But I'm going to tell you, I really didn't taste any pear. No, it's just sweet. It's just very sweet. Maybe it's just supposed to be sweet. So, did you like the pear more than the Irish cream? Mm -hmm. You did? I it's like that creaminess. But yeah, I'm thinking I like I like that pear quite a bit too. Now, we'll see. Is this bourbon? That does not taste like bourbon. It's not strong enough. I think the first one's the most probably the bourbon. I don't know. The only, the, the only one that really had a strong alcohol flavor was the very first one. It was one. the very first one. That doesn't taste like bourbon at all. It has a little bit of a flavor to it, but it's not it's like not bourbon. bourbon. No. I would have thought that for sure would have been bourbon because of a bourbon ball. You put that in, you dip them in chocolate. That's a bourbon ball. Um, that is not what that tastes like no. at all. I like all of them, though. The, every one of them are good. They're, yes, they and they're none of them are so strong that they're off-putting or anything like that. Yeah, it's that. not like a bourbon or anything like that. No, they're really just the first one was the strongest. Maybe that one was the bourbon right. one. But if it is the bourbon one, it's not a bourbon that I've had before. Yeah. My favorite um, one, I think, is that chocolate one. I love the chocolate. The chocolate was really uh, good. But it's not my favorite. I think if that one, if the second one was supposed to be the pear, that one would be my favorite, yeah. and then my second would be the Irish cream. Mine would be the chocolate one, and then the one over that first one was that had that alcohol flavor. But you know what? I There's like nothing. them all. You know what though? If my two favorite of those, and those are two, your two favorite, we split the pie. Then it's perfect. <laughs> yeah, that's why we're still married, because yeah. we can split everything. That's right. um, but these, um, there's so much uh, that they have on offer there. It is a wonderful store to go in. You don't want to miss it. And you can do mobile ordering now. So if you don't want to stand in line, you don't have to. I wanted to. I wanted to go in and see, what that and see everything because I knew <coughs> that chances were I would be ordering a lot, and I did. Um, but you can absolutely do mobile ordering, and we did that at other places. Super easy. It is a terrific service. It really does save you so much time. Hey, you don't wait in line. You just go find your seat, sit down, sit and pops up on your phone saying your order's ready. Go pick up at window five or if they have more. And I don't orders. think we ever waited more than five minutes. That's no. the truth. You no. ordered it and it was ready. You order it and then when, when it confirms your order, you say, I'm here. Go ahead and prepare it and they immediately do it. Yeah, it so terrific quick. service. So Not that this is a review of that service. No, but, but that it, is something. Just know to use it if you go. There. Yeah, that's something Disney has done that I think was very, very smart. That that is a smart move. Mm -hmm. uh, it works. Um, but I, I, yeah, I hope you all get a chance if you go to Epcot. You you absolutely cannot miss going in there. Buy something. Just yeah. buy one. Even if you buy thing. the popcorn. It's really yeah, good. It's yeah. really good. Yes, absolutely. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.